As ski season returns to Colorado, so do avalanche risks. The Colorado Avalanche Information Center reported its first skier triggered avalanche of the season Friday near Treasury Mountain. It was a small slide, but as more mountain snow piles up, of course, the threat will grow. Denver 7's Ryan Fish took an early morning trip up to the mountains and saw the future of avalanche avoidance may already be here. Up here at Loveland Pass, fresh early season snow. You can see backcountry skiers already making fresh tracks out here. I think I spent maybe 90 days not on my skis this year. But anytime they're here enjoying this, they also need to be thinking about avalanche risk. The risk is there and it exists and it'll just keep going up because all the snow that we have now is going to be our avalanche problem in two months. Danny Shadig is working on a solution, pairing his love for backcountry skiing with artificial intelligence to better gauge that risk at any given moment. This was a part of my capstone project through CSU Global. I was trying to find a project that could have maybe a positive impact on my community. This has true impact. It could help people be more informed as they're going into the backcountry and, um, and yeah, maybe even save lives. <laughs> It starts with collecting data while taking thousands of snow samples and detailed pictures across the front range and beyond to help AI understand snow's many features and what higher risk snow looks like. I collected 3,000 samples. Now he's building another model called Avi to take that knowledge to forecast avalanche risk after looking at a new snow photo. One of the biggest problems with our data set is we needed to be uh, to have snow from all different types of uh, environments that it's going to be um, predicting in. That's why he's now exploring new areas and encouraging people across Colorado to add their own samples. I'm making it open source so anybody can explore it if they want. The code for the model and uh, all the data is available. People's lives are at risk with this AI and I want to take that seriousness with me at every stage. Admittedly, the slopes are usually somewhere to unplug. I touch a computer maybe like three times a year, so. <laughs> but Shadig hopes one day this technology can give skiers and boarders a reliable warning. As long as we can collect enough data and we you know, put in enough effort, I think it's 100% possible. At the top of Loveland Pass, Ryan Fish, Denver 7. Ryan's committed to spotlighting how artificial intelligence and technology shapes our communities. If you ever have a story involving these things, you want Ryan to check out, boy, he'd love to hear from you. Scan the QR code on your screen to connect with him or email him, ryan.fish at denver7.com.